This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Voldemar back here with another episode of Our World Has Ended. In the last episode, we had the party for Tatiana and everyone seemed to have a ball. And apparently we're a pretty good uh, attendant despite our, despite our protests. And now the party is wound down. It's time to take everyone... Well, I guess everyone stayed home except for the, uh, the sisters. And we decided to go back home because we thought maybe we'd get her some alone time with Unison. We know how our furry mind works. Will anything happen, or will it be just all one big joke? Let's find out. Of course, this is Asana-san's room, too, and she's sleeping behind me. But I choose to ignore that. The mood is so much better this way. Sorry, Asana-san. Ah, you're thirsty, right? Wait a bit, I'll get you something. Unison stands up and goes to the kitchen. I thought she'd give me a barley tea or an iced coffee or something, but I guess I forgot this is Unison we're talking about. But she gives you ice cream? Okay. She proudly brings a shaved ice machine, just like the one in Jay Summon's office. She really likes shaved ice. I used to like ice cream a lot. I don't eat ice cream as much as I used to, even on the hot days, which is starting to get hotter around here. But uh, I don't know why. It's just just not something I eat. I think it's because it's a luxury I don't want to spend the money on. I'm, I'm, at this age, I've, I've become like, I'm, unless it's necessary, I usually don't spend on it if I can help it. So even stuff that isn't that expensive, like, you know, where I, like, it's like $2 for like half a gallon of like ice cream where I am is like that's not that bad if I don't eat it every if I don't eat it like all the time I can make that last but I'm just like no eh, I just won't have it she takes some ice from the fridge puts it in and starts spinning the handle that doesn't fit the mod mood I imagine but it's very like unison it brings a smile on my face smile we while waiting for the shaved ice to vanish, I casually look around the room it's unexpectedly tidy from what I saw of unison's table she look, she's good at making messes but bad at cleaning them up. Due to that, it's safe to assume that Unison's the one in charge of the chores. But even if you ignore the fact that's well maintained, there's not all that much stuff in it. I guess it's uh, that they left most of their stuff at the parents' home and live here with just the bare necessities. Something I for, uh, something life's recipes. Just forget about your worries and your strife. Believe it. And the bear. Oh, sorry, I screwed that up. <laughs> I don't remember that song as well as some of the others. But Suddenly, a certain object catches my eye. A certain object? How about multiple objects with the same motif? It's a small altar and a shelf. It looks like Unison ma herself made it, and there are two memorial tablets inside. Wait, memorial tablets? There was a photo, too. It's displaying a young uh, Asano-san and Unison, along with a man and a woman. Oh, I get it now. As I become bewildered, Unison brings me the completed shaved ice. Here you go. It's even in a panda cup. Oh, man. You know, I've heard, it, at least in China, I've heard pa pandas are kind of a nuisance. <laughs> the large portion of shaved ice is covered in red and green syrup. A unique mix. It's my special blend, of course. Strawberry melon in a ratio of 3 to 3. Keep this th th keep this a secret. I don't know why I thought reading that was wrong. A ratio of 3 to 3 is the same as 1 to 1. I say that out loud, but find myself unable to. Such a beta. Unison probably likes presenting it this way. Not more concerned about something else. What's wrong? Or sorry, what's wrong? It looks like she's noticed that I'm fidgeting. I'm not sure if I should ask her about the tablet, so I'll talk about something else instead. The flat screen TV, the part of the wall that's a different color, flat screen. I feel like with Unison, it's hard to get negative points with her. You know what I mean? Like she's that type of character. I wonder if she's the default like character that you can get points with you know what i mean like if, if there's going to be an ending with a character if that's how this game works then she's probably the default which usually it is with these types of characters um i'm trying to think of like what would be uh part of the wall that's a different color that's that screen right that uh, the flat screen tv wait oh they do have a flat screen tv paint the goods Uh, let's ask her about this TV one. Uh, while the room as a whole is old, there's some relatively new looking electronics. Considering their work, they obviously need new game consoles and keyboards for making music. However, I think I, I think a ding ding or something like that, which meant I think I got extra points or something like that. I think. Anyway, I still haven't figured out what the. I can tell what the bad points are when it goes, but the good and neutral one then. 
So I assume I got points for there. I wonder if a, a, a choice depends on how many how, how many points you get or whatever. However, I'm quite surprised they also have a flat screen TV and a recorder. They're so new they even stand out. Uniform. Unison, the TV and recorder are pretty new, right? Did you buy them recently? Yep, we used to have something older before, but sis broke it when she was drunk. It wasn't showing anything, so she went and hit it to fix it and stopped showing things for good. We later found out that the plug was out of the socket. That sounds about right. Looks like Asana-san is disruptive and unfortunate at home, too. It's a, a, it's a shame you had to buy a new one, but I guess electronics break often when you live with Asana-san. Yeah, she's very good at breaking stuff. That's why we always buy the tougher things or go to the recycle shops. I see. So living with Asana-san requires one to have a certain set of skills. What do we got call Liam Neeson? Now that I think about it, Unison shopping skills might also be a result of being Asana-san's sister. You're very good at shopping after all. You know where to get things cheap and find, find, uh, easy to find sales. You even memorize the locations of lots of shops. But this is way better than me at getting a good deal. We bought this TV. I always want to do that voice just because of the way your eyes look. When we bought this TV, I asked them to lower the price, but it was still too much for us. I asked this to try it, and then we got really cheap. I probably threatened to punch them with violence. The employees were all very good people. Yeah, right. My guess is that San San went and forced them to reduce the price. Honestly, I feel sorry for the employees. Still, this is an example of how strong a combo they are. You spend your life cooperating like that, huh? Yep, Sis always helps me out, so I want to do what I can too. As a listener, chief for chatter, I can't help but think about their situation. I consider the room and automatically assume that they're the only ones living here and that turned out to be true. Also, I don't recall the two ever talking about their family. Because they're... Well, we know. I can only guess that the menorah tablets mean exactly what I think they do. Unison realized I'm looking at the altar. Oh, that's your mom and dad. So your mom and dad are, pa are pandas? No. It died a long time ago. It was a car accident. I was still second year in elementary school. I had a really strong feeling it was going to be a car accident. Usually when parents die, it's usually a car accident. It's like never... It's never something like super extreme or... Or it's never like sickness because usually they have to die at the same time, right? So usually car... Or an air or a plane accident or something like that, but something to do with machines. The heaviness of the subject makes me fall silent. It was very hard after that. We were taken to a new home owned by some relatives. It was a very nice place. And when Sis graduated high school, she quickly found a job and moved, taking me with her. We've been together ever since. I see. I don't didn't know. I I'm sorry. Or I so he said I sorry. Uh, why are you apologizing? She looks generally confused. I'm apologizing for my own insolence. <laughs> no, insolent thoughts at the prospect of coming here to her place. Not like I could say that to her. Uh, no real reason. I don't give her a proper answer, but she doesn't fret the, th the little thing, so she just forgets my inappropriate apology. This is really amazing. She had no connections or academics, but she got a job at her first try. So she went straight to J7, huh? Uh, no. The first company she ever entered was J7. I forgot its name, but it was a company that made music. But there was this really lewd boss who tried to sexually arrest her. Now we know you're lying. The man must have been a, uh, had a death wish. Or he, or he likes flat girls. So she quit? Regicun, or sorry, Regicun, my sis wasn't weak enough to take something like that for granted. Unison suddenly looks proud for some reason. She beat him up with a synthesizer. I thought they, that, I, though that got her fired. Yeah, it did. You know, you probably could have got some of the first sexual harassment suit, but whatever. Retaliation seems like a very sound thing to do in that situation. Honestly, it all makes sense now. Though the fact that she used a synthesizer is a bit problematic. There's one here too, and it looks both tough and heavy. It's only natural to get fired after using it as a weapon. Anyway, when a sawson is seriously mad, she starts swinging around her synthesizer. I gotta keep that in mind if I want to keep working with J7. After getting fired to, to let us get by, she picked up a part-time job. Started doing cheap performances near Asakusa Station. People probably paid her to stop playing. It could have been just instrumental, right? Did she actually? Did she actually sing? Did she actually sing? Ugh, the proofreaders on this. Yep, she sang. <laughs> she knows. She knows. Unison nods. Unison nods. Asana-san still isn't aware of it, but she's tragically tone-deaf. Her singing isn't just bad, it actually has the power to irritate people. 
Man, she'd make a terrible bard. Seeing like that for a street performance must have gotten her some severe criticism. By that, I mean a barrage of booing. She had lots of money. Many people have changed for her. She probably thought she was mentally challenged. Are you serious? Yep, she even said, Your singing is wasted. You should go somewhere else. Oh, yeah. You should really go somewhere else. Isn't that basically a nice way to say your pain in my ears? Go somewhere else? Unison doesn't say if that's the case or, or not. Well, I'll let them keep their happy misunderstanding. There's no need to ruin it. But she didn't go anywhere else, all because the person she liked used the station. Eh? Really? I lean forward out of curiosity. I'm generally interested in Sanasan's love story. It's probably had a saddening end, but I still want to hear about it. Yeah, who'd love her? No, I'm just, that, that's that's kind of cruel for me to say. I, when I talk about love in a romantic sense, not in a, oh, I love my family or I love my friends, you know. What kind of man was he? Um, he wasn't exactly a man. Wasn't a man? Dun, dun, dun. That kind of makes her hot all of a sudden. No, I just... Eh, not a man. Does that mean that A, A, A? I'm half panicking. <laughs> I think it was it that one line from Family Guy. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, are you telling me that she likes girls? Oh no, you got it wrong. Sis is straight. And what's the joke about 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 uh women are like noodles? You know, they start straight at first, but never mind. I'm not gonna finish that. That is not cool. <laughs> Well, okay, that's that's not appropriate. Uh, she she just likes little boys. Wait, little boys? Is she a Shotokan? Oh God, yeah. She likes little boys. There's nothing normal about that. She started to like one of the boys who used the station. She always sang her original songs whenever they passed. He passed by, but that boy was always. That, but that boy was always ran into the station like he was running away from something. He was probably embarrassed. There's no like there. He was definitely running away. Eventually, eventually stopped showing up. How sad. I wanted to bet he switched stations. But sis is very strong and didn't break. She starts thinking about her lost love with even more enthusiasm than before. I feel like it's either a dog or, or she just, you know, like a little kid, like in terms of just entertaining kids, because kids like to be entertained. But anyway, sometime later, Sakai-san passed by and invited her to work at Judgment 7. Well, I now know Asana-san joined the company, but I'm left with an important question. Why did Iwari-san invite Asana-san, a street singer worth singing, whose singing could be considered a lethal weapon, to Judgment 7? No, again, the reason wasn't that significant. Maybe he just needed a sound director. Or maybe he liked the non-vocal parts of the songs. Anyway, this was a good peek at, si uh, a, peek at a side to the Sana Sana Yusan that I didn't know about. Because it was required for the game for the plot, apparently. The Sana Sana is tough, violent, tone deaf, likes little boys, and generally really unfortunate soul. However, she's a good elder sister, worked hard to protect and support Yunusan. And I also came to understand that Yunusan deeply respects her. To this girl, Asana-san isn't just a sister, but a highly reliable guardian. She is a really good sister. I'm so, so proud of her. She looks at Asana-san's drunk, sleeping face with, no, with nothing, with noting, wait, that's with nothing respect. You meant noting respect? Oy. Man, for a visual novel, you think proofreading would have been top-notch, dog. I'm for sure Asana-san is really proud of you, too. You're a really good girl who's loved by everyone. I'm just being honest, but the content of my words makes me feel embarrassed. Just like, like I just convinced her or something. Um, dot, dot, dot. Unison? I feel like she just turned gloomy for a second. Uh, Reggie Coon, your shaved ice is melting. You should hurry up and eat it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I should. Oh, man. You know what? I'll add some more syrup. With this, it's a ratio of 4 to 4. That's too much sugar, dude. She adds the syrup, making it perhaps too sweet. I eat it regardless as we chat about various things. Unison probably talks about Asana-san's heroics, which honestly sounds like more unfortunate events to me. We also talk about NWE, our new game with Tatiana. All this chatting makes me sleepy. Or maybe I just ate too much at the party. Crap, I can't sleep here. I gotta go to the office, at least. I try to convince myself, but alas, I'm powerless against the Sandman. Sandman, bring me a dream. Bring me the greatest dream that you've ever seen. Like a like a memory weapon lady. I fell asleep. Good work today, Rage Coon. Thanks. Just so you know, I'm not the good girl you think I am. I wonder if you'd hate me if you knew the real me. 
I vaguely hear Yonasan say something, but I can't tell if it's real or not. Is she a Yandere? Is she gonna stab us in her sleep? Oh god. No! I saw this on you, seven twenty-three, twenty seventeen, seven a.m. Of course, well, I mean, it would be boring if she was just a straight, perfect girl, you know. Um. Yeah. That's probably a song. Song. What was seeing me? Well, why are you? Why are you here? I'm awakened by a scream. Upon opening my eyes, I see a song. Song look down at me with anger, shock in her eyes. It's not that rare for me to sleep in the napping space on the third floor. What's her deal? A moment later, I'm awake enough to realize that this isn't the office building. Dun dun dun! It's Yudasan Asana-san's apartment! Oh yeah, I became sleepy while talking to Yudasan and actually went to sleep! There's some... There's some... There's summary morning light... I've never heard that term for that before, but I'll, 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 I'll give it a pass. There's summary morning light coming through the window. Looks like I slept th all through the night. I can't blame Asana-san for being surprised that I'm here. Suddenly, I remember that this woman once beat up her lecherous boss with the synthesizer. Gotta go! If I don't clear this misunderstanding, she might actually kill me. Like, I'm actually afraid for my life. Reiji, did you do anything to you know? Did you touch her? Or did you do, did, did you want what? I swear upon heaven and earth that I didn't. I desperately assert my innocence. How can I not? This room has a synthesizer. I might as well be a lethal weapon. I moved to hide it from her line of sight. What about me? Did you touch my body? No one's gonna touch your body, dude. What's that song? Touch my body. Oh, touch my body. I don't even know how that goes. Uh, I didn't do anything. You're imagining. I should focus on trying to stop her. I'm so literal that I accidentally say something I shouldn't. Well, I guess I could touch you in a way. Huh? She becomes pale. Oh no, I messed up. She's now a step beyond rage. Of course, I only mean the fact that I carried her here. Not anything lewd. Don't get me wrong, please. I didn't mean that I touched you with my hands. You were just on me. The danger of my life makes me panic and mess up my explanation. In fact, I'm just making it worse. I just add fuel to the fire. Jet fuel, to be precise. It, I was not you. Asana-san's face becomes as red as a tomato. It shows a dense mix of embarrassment and anger. God damn it, she's getting it all wrong. I was hoping to get Unison to explain it, but she's not in the room. Instead, there's a single memo on the table. It says, Rage Goon, or sorry, it says, Rage Goon, we're, we're out of tofu for the miso soup. I want you, I want to make, so I'm going out to get some. Why must you leave now, of all times? Who cares about tofu? Come back already! Reggie! Oh, that was creepy. Asana-san picks up the vacuum cleaner at the edge of the room. She clearly tends to throw it at me. I scream and start running around the room. Quit moving around. Stay still and die to atone for defiling the girl's purity. What purity? A vacuum cleaner in hand, she chases after me. I'm actually experiencing something I never thought I will. I didn't defile anything. Listen to me. As we run around, Unison returns. Oh, saved by the angel. I'm back. Convenience store, sure. Convenient. They work all throughout the day and night. They sell tofu. Unison looks at us, thoroughly confused. Wow, you two sure are lively. If you want to play tag, you should do it outside. Why well, I get noise complaints? You're getting it wrong. Please tell her what happened last night. My shout echoes throughout the room. And then we black out and die. Game over. I see, so I drank myself to sleep in a wire I told you to carry me home. And you fell asleep while talking to you know. That's about right. Yes, that's exactly right. You need to calm down with your with your like anger issues, dude. That's not healthy. I nod intensively. Unison's explanation made all our suspicions disperse. The vacuum cleaner that threatened my life is back to where it was too. You should have said so right away. You almost gave me a criminal record. You're the one who didn't listen to me properly. I almost said that out loud, but I'm kinda guilty too. I panicked and fueled her misunderstanding. I'm really sorry. Instead, I just apologized like a good beta. Also, I know you were tired and all, but a man shouldn't just pass out in a room where two girls live. Well, you're not sexually threatening to me, so it's fine. No. You know, you know if this happens again, just call a tax or something and force the guy out. Yeah, but this is rage coup, so it's fine. You're soft, too naive. Despite it all, he's still a man. Not to mention, not much of a man, but he is a man. But I mentioned that he's the perv, perv's underling. 
Okay, I understand. I'll make breakfast now. Redskin, wanna stay around and eat it? Ah, yeah, thank you. Oh no, ah, yeah, thank you. Hold on, what's with that answer? Hold yourself back a little. S -s sorry I answered reflexively, but I guess she's right that I overstayed my welcome. I prepared to get up and leave. Well, even if Hawaii ordered you, you still brought me here, so I guess you can have breakfast with us. Yes, thanks. She currently gives me permission to stay. I'm just glad the relationship is fixed. For now. Unison starts making breakfast. The pleasant sound of food being sliced reaches my ears. This is kind of nice. By the way, you said you talked to Yuna about something, right? Yeah, uh, I didn't try to court or anything with that. I don't, I don't doubt that. I know you don't have the guts for that. That is true. She told, uh, she told you about the didn't she? About our parents, I mean. She speaks that quietly. Yeah, she did. I even found out how you ended up becoming a part of Judgment Judgment 7. Uh, well, I expected that much. Yuna's pretty fond of you, so I thought she'd tell you about that. She grins wryly. Just so you know, I don't want you giving a special treatment because of this. I'm sure Yuna feels the same way. I don't know, we're pretty submissive to you, so I don't think that's going to change. Oh, I never intended to do that. I'm not shrewd enough for that. But I gotta say, you're a hard worker, a kind sister. <laughs> oh, we know the obvious answer to that. Not just saddening and unfortunate. <laughs> huh? I mean, I never knew that he did so much to protect Yunasan. Coming to know so much about Asan-san has changed my outlook of her at all. So wait, you're saying that you always thought I was just saddening all the time? Is that it? It is, it is, isn't it? Um, that's not what I meant. It's just that your saddening sides stood out so much that I didn't see the others. That's the same thing. So that's what you thought of me, huh? I see, I see. I get it real good. But, but, but that's changed now. You're just you're not just a saddening person, but a woman who's reliable in spite of how saddening she is. You're going up the ranks. What's with that condescending attitude? And stop clinging to the saddening part. It just makes me rank up to a reliable woman. I really can't. I mean, even if you're reliable, that doesn't change the fact that you're unfortunate. I can't say that out loud, though. Well, whatever. I don't care what you think of me. I always be myself. It doesn't bother me at all. She turns away from me. Well, it doesn't seem like she's seriously mad, so that's a relief. A moment later, Yuna-san says she's done with breakfast. In the creepy in the background. Since Rachel and breakfast is done, eat up! Mm, looks like we're going to be eating some Yuna food. Sounds good. So, what else is uh, for us for the day? Hanging out with the ladies? Solving a mystery? scooby doing it up? Find out next time in the next episode of Our World Is Ended. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.